Hello, this is Ted Gambardella, and I want to share with you the story of the last time I saw my mother, because I think it can be a blessing to many of you right now. My mother was in a nursing home in Alexander, Louisiana, and she had been put on hospice care and given heavy sedatives to help her with her pain and suffering. She was not being treated with love at the nursing home, and my brother had complained almost daily about her treatment to such an extent that he even had to call the state to file official complaints about her treatment. She had suffered some setbacks, and with her recent illness and treatment, she'd gone into sort of a limbo state, where she just slept and barely moved. She did not talk, seldom opened her eyes, and she did not recognize anyone and could not communicate. My brother called me in Dallas and told me that if I wanted to see my mother again, I'd better come quickly. So my wife, Renee, and my daughter, Mary, loaded up and went to Louisiana to say our goodbyes. It was a somber trip without much talking and communication, but nothing really prepared us for what what we saw when we saw our mother lying here in the bed at the hospital in the nursing home. She was unresponsive, half asleep, half awake, and apparently unable to communicate, talk, or express feelings. She appeared alone, afraid, and unloved. We talked to her, and when she only moved her head a little and drifted on and off to sleep, finally, my wife helped her into a chair by the bed and began to brush her hair. She hadn't had her hair brushed in weeks or months, and she was just sitting there as my wife began softly gently brushing her hair and not pulling any knots like I always did with my daughter. When they brushed and talked to mom, she just sat there in the chair with her eyes closed. But after a few minutes, something remarkable happened. She opened her eyes and she began to look around the room and for the first time, she began to recognize who we were and that she was with her family who loved her. Her eyes came to me and with a smile, she leaned towards me for a hug and began kissing, kissing, and kissing me in the cheek. She couldn't talk with her voice, only her eyes and her kisses. I told her that I loved her. And she smiled so proudly and hugged me dearly and kissed me and kissed me even more. She looked around the room and saw Renee and Mary and smiled. And then she looked at the bed and asked if she could lay back down. And we gently placed her in the bed and when she opened her eyes again to see us and to hear us, we told her that she was loved and everything was okay. We loved her. God loved her. And Jesus and Daddy were waiting for her. She smiled, closed her eyes. She smiled, closed her eyes, and went to sleep. This time she went to sleep, not being alone and afraid. She slept knowing she was loved. And I want to tell you right now, I know that some of you are experiencing the same feelings of being alone, afraid, and not feeling loved. But if you close your eyes for just a second, you can feel the hand of Jesus brushing your hair and telling you that you are indeed loved, that you are his precious child. He will never leave you or say, Jesus loves you. You are not alone. Heaven is real. And he has a place prepared for you. If you don't know this love, you can experience it right now. Go to GodLovesTheWorld.com and follow the simple instructions. You are not alone. Jesus loves you. Open your eyes and see the world. This is Ted Gambadella. I'll see you next time.